What's happening, fellas? Happy Thanksgiving Eve. Check out this stunning classic, Husqvarna 250. This is a, one of the last from the Randy Gillespie collection. It's been living a sheltered life in, in a heated, air-conditioned, no windows, heated floor, what do they call it? Uh, radiant. radiant heat flooring facility where there was no condensation or anything uh, for many moons. And you can see this thing is an absolutely stunning piece. All original Husqvarna 250. This thing hauls ass. It's very fast. Uh, the suspension is excellent. The engine is fantastic. It's a six-speed transmission. So this is their CR uh, racing model with the close race, close ratio transmission, and it is a whole lot of fun to ride. Those that follow our channel know that I raced Husqvarna 84, 85, and 86. I had a XC and a CR 500. Um, absolutely love these twin shock huskies. These are made in Sweden, not they're now made in Austria, the, the, the new ones. But look at the quality, the, the finish, fit and finish. This is original paint on the gas tank. It's still in mint condition. The gas tank's in excellent condition, as is the original seat cover, uh, the forks, the wheels, everything on the bike. It looks like a new bike, like most of the bikes from Randy's collection. The, the exhaust system is in mint condition. The uh, engine, cylinder, cases, fins, Clutch, transmission, carburation, airbox, everything's on point on this bike. Just a beautiful piece. Uh, we, put, we put it through the shop here, and uh, I'll go through the work order of the thing. What we did to it, we'll call this a preservation service, not a restoration because it didn't need one. But uh, the bike was steam cleaned, hand washed, degreased. They repainted the aluminum uh, frame, uh, most, the uh, aluminum color on the bottom of the frame rails, the swing arm, the kickstand, the uh, foot pegs. The um, engine was repainted. The exhaust was removed and, and repainted. Uh, no dents in the original exhaust. It's in really nice condition. The hubs were touched up. The uh, rear shock springs were painted. Zoom in on the rear shocks, Kenny. Those are in, look really nice if you can get a close up on it. Um, so some of the painted surfaces were repainted. Again, the gas tank is original paint. 70% of the frame is original paint. Just a few areas that need a touch up, we're done. The exhaust was fully repainted but that's the original paint on the tank, which is just absolutely remarkable. The uh, bike came from the factory with these quality Magura levers. Just, uh, you know, everything that fit and finish on the Huskies was, was a step up from most of the other manufacturers of that time. Still is today, probably. Uh, the All the aluminum on the bike, the fork tubes were clean, polished. The uh, tank, the paint was cleaned and polished and waxed. Um, fenders were cleaned. The uh, whole bike was just detailed top to bottom. Wizard and I have been riding it around uh, most of the day today here. Uh, so we are going to take it in into the detail shop and get one more wash so that you can see the rim's a little bit dirty and just a little dusty from, from riding it around the compound here today, uh, as you'll see in the videos that we had done earlier. The, um, the, the fork seals are weeping a little bit over here, but if you take a look, you can see the fork tubes are in pristine condition. Usually they're, they're uh, rusted and uh, decayed um, from sitting outside. There's no, no evidence of any, any wear on these fork tubes are really nice. The fork lowers are nice. Just a fantastic piece. Let me go take another peek at the work order here. The uh, wizard went through the bike. He changed the gear lube, replaced the spark plug, uh, drained the old gas out, uh, installed a new uh, lower chain roller. It also installed a brand new gold pro taper chain. If you zoom in, you'll see that chain is new. Uh, installed a new set of grips on it. The original grips were a little funky, so he put a brand new set of Ori grips on it. Uh, he did take the carb apart, clean it, set it, and adjust the carb. Uh, installed new fuel lines on the between the tank and carb, and also new vent lines on the carburetor. He put some VP110 in it, mixed 32 to 1. And he did spend a, a, a bit of time jetting it. Um, he's went through a couple different jetting settings, and he's got it on point now. As you can tell, we did one video. He drag raced me on my CR500, and he went at 2, and I went at 3. We went 3, 2, 1. I gave him like a one second lead and uh, he was gone. I couldn't catch him before the end of the straightaway. So that was in our, one of our earlier videos. So this 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 thing hauls ass for a 250. It, it really goes good. Uh, the air, he also removed the air box, cleaned that, uh, cleaned the air filter. Um, well, basically went through the whole fuel system and the uh, carburetor and the uh, 
air box and changed all the fluids and adjusted everything, put a new chain on it. Kick-ass piece, guys. Uh, if you have any questions about it, give us a call, 860-454-7024. To find an original unrestored one like this with all original components, is uh, they're pretty much few and far between. We've had a few of them come in that, that uh, we just didn't have the... the um, the parts are components sourced to restore them, so we sold them as is, not even running recently, and, and they sold for, for real money. So one that's like this, original Survivor, they're just, it's, it's uh, you know, they're getting harder and harder to find. Bikes pushing 40-something years old now, so in uh, 2028, it'll be 50 years old in six years. So what does that make it, 40, 44, 44 years old? Kick-ass, classic. Hey, let's check the frame rails. I always recommend doing that, right? pristine not a ding not a ding in that frame rail uh there's this frame rail pristine not a ding in it now if this was raced off-road the engine cases and the frame lowers would be all marred uh first of all the, the pipe would be all caved in there's not a dent in the pipe the pipe's perfect on a scale of one and ten the pipe and frame appeared to me to be a ten and this is a unique pipe take a look at the way it was manufactured right here where the, the back stinger was actually bolted on really high quality swedish engineering the um Kickstand is, is in new condition. That's one of the first things someone would be taking. You can't even race motocross in New England with that kickstand. So most of them got taken off 40 years ago and tossed. So to find one like this, well, I don't see another one for sale on eBay, anything close to this. Original saddle. This is original upholstery on the original 44-year-old saddle and still in excellent condition. Junior, you've seen a lot of these come and go. What are your thoughts? Yeah, man, all the cycle parts, the pipe is mint. It, this tank is really something. It's uh, dent-free from what I can see in the, the seat being yes. original. I can't see this bike having more than, you know, a handful of hours. Realistically, probably five, ten hours total ride time. Most of Randy's bikes were like this, low-hour survivors, um, and it's been massaged by the staff here uh, to perfection uh, without restoring it, you know, leaving the original finishes and components on it. Just a kick-ass piece. Good luck finding a nicer one. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, call us 860-454-7024. This bike is uh, one I, I would uh, think it, that, that it could be a keeper for the long haul. I'd love to see a friend or family member end up with this bike. It's, it's one I know it's going to be good for the long haul. Thanks for watching. God bless. Billy, could you add a couple words of wisdom on the Husky? I know you've been a fan of, of the Mark for a long time. Yeah, I have, Ken. This is a uh, basically a replica of the bike that Heike Mikola won the 250cc world championship on in I believe 76 and uh, they had numerous wins in not only motocross but uh, world enduro championships and also in Baja 1000. Uh, this bike was uh, revered as one of the, the best handling, uh, best running, most reliable bikes you could buy at the time. Um, a turnkey operation, you could buy it from the dealer and go race it and win. So um, th this is a true survivor, a wonderful bike. I think it's in uh, magnificent shape, and like Ken said, good luck finding one like this or anything close uh, in original condition. So unmolested in beautiful condition. You know, look at those frame rails. That's uh, you know the bottom. Yep, absolutely pristine. You know, absolutely magnificent. And you can tell by the bottom of the fork legs too, where uh, you know there's no damage there. The bike has not been ridden off road much at all. I could say uh, with relative confidence. So. Um, Good luck bidding. Kyle, you got a chance to ride it too. You've had, you've seen, most of the Huskies you've had through like that didn't run. You know? I mean, this is really a, a unique. Yeah, I mean, usually, you know, these bikes come in just absolutely hammered and they just, you know, you can tell they've been ridden hard and there's a reason for that because when they're, they're running good like this one, you just want to keep riding it. I mean, you know, uh, Ken and uh, Chris are riding around out back and this thing was doing really well. I mean, it's it, holding its own. Yeah, it, it has plenty of get up and go. Um, Chris actually made a comment that he would have no problem um, doing a vintage race with this bike over um, the same year CR250. He wow. said that he would rather ride this uh, Husqvarna. That's remarkable. <laughs> you know, honestly, any soft, any 14 year old sophomore in high school who is at least of average intelligence c could rebuild the top end on this thing with, with, a, with a, watching a YouTube video with a little guidance. I think I could train a monkey to, to do the top end of one, one of these. They're that easy to work on. Uh, heck, I, when I was 14, I used to take my 79-100 RM100 top end off, bring it to school to polish the ports during the week. Just for, just, just, you know, didn't, just to make sure it was fresh. They're so easy to work on. 
That's why these are these are forever bikes, man. And this thing's 44 years old. When it's 100 years old, it'll still be in good condition if you take care of it. Kick-ass machine. Kick -ass machine. Hey, man, it's the right color, red and white with the green. Uh, this would be a kick-ass piece to be under anybody's Christmas machine. If you buy it and you want to leave it in the museum, I'd be honored to put this one next to Mike Guerra's 250 World uh, uh, USGP winning Husky 250. We have a factory Husky 250 in the museum. This belongs up there with that one. Or we'll ship it to anywhere in the country. Give us a call for a quote. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.